Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it, we knocked out another case of 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Edition eight box random division number three. Five autos a box, no vet common ship, but all the good stuff will ship. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Zach and Greg winning their way in, Greg, Steve, Greg again, Nicholas getting their spots outright, we appreciate you there. Um, thanks everybody, no matter how you got in, thank you. There are your divisions. Let's roll it. Randomize names and divisions three and a one four times. One, two, three, and four. Three and a one four times. Greg down to Steve. Three and a one four times for the divisions. One, two, three, and four. We got the NL West and the AL East. All right, so Greg, you've got half the, uh, you got half the divisions, half of Major League Baseball. You have the NL West, NL East, AL Central. Zach, you have the NL Central. Nicholas, Last Bob Mojo, AL West. And Steve, AL East. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. Actually, let's uh, alphabetize by division really quick. So I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any division trades, and then we'll have the break, so stick around. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. TWC, trade window closed. No deals were done, so that list right there remains the same. I know we gotta shake up that toner a little bit here, but thanks everyone for making it happen on Tuesday, true Tuesday the 12th. Maybe we could find some train whistles in here. That'd be nice. All right, so it's a full caser, all eight jumbo boxes, five autos a box. Good luck, everybody. You know, that Nick has given away four spots in the under wraps break too, that Fanatics under wraps autograph baseball break. If you want to get into that, boys and girls, grab some spots there. That's a half case from a fresh case. And it's our last case, so we don't have any more of those Fanatics under wraps autographed baseballs yet. And not that we're guaranteed any big names, but I'll be, we haven't seen, I mean, we've seen some really nice names, but we, we haven't seen like Aaron Judge autos or Shohei autos yet. So maybe we can find some in there. So browse around jazbeescasebreaks.com. There might be some nice, uh, there might be some nice things on the site that uh you know that you can take a look at take take advantage of some deals we got some basketball starting in the background on tnt i think nick's sixers uh it's award season ladies and gentlemen i think uh this week or is it next week? When are we, we going to start seeing, like, awards? Next week? I think uh, next week. Yeah, I think next week we'll start seeing the big awards. MVP, Cy Young, Rookie of the Year, Manager of the Year. Let's see how, let's, usually Vegas is pretty spot on, but we'll see if there's any surprises. I don't think there will be, but. But manager of the year, that might be something where, where, where there might not be, you know, a clear favorite there. But silver sluggers were announced. So the best hitter at their respective position And MLB and Louisville Slugger announced Silver Sluggers. Do we agree with all this? Uh, Salvador Perez wins his fifth Silver Slugger with the Royals. Catcher, I think that's probably right. A A this is all AL first. First base, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Probably, right? That's his second Silver Slugger. Second base, Altuve. That's his, is that his seventh Silver Slugger? 
Third base, Jose Ramirez, Guardians. That's his fifth. That makes sense. Shortstop in the AL. Yeah, Bobby Wood Jr. That's his first silver slugger. First of probably many. In the outfield, uh, Aaron Judge wins his fourth. Juan Soto wins his fifth. And Anthony Santander wins his first silver slugger. DH, Brent Rooker for the A's wins his first silver slugger. And in the utility spot, Josh Smith for the Rangers first. And then... I guess there, I didn't realize there was Team Silver Slugger Awards. That would be the Yankees. Let me check the NL in a second, in the second box. All right, away we go. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for getting in. Remember, vet commons like these will not ship, right? Obviously, rookie cards will ship. Um, inserts will ship. These special cards will ship. Obviously, numbered cards will ship. 009 out of 350, Silver Slugger Award winner, Jose Altuve. That'll be AL West, Nicholas. You know, inserts will ship. Those parallels will ship. The no vet commons, but obviously that's not common. That's a refractor, so that will ship. Andres Jimenez Hyper will definitely ship. Rookie, Mets edition, AL East, Steve. Turning out to be a solid ball player. Nice Otani, and our first auto is a nice one too. Clark Schmidt, rookie auto for the Yankees. That's gonna be AL East, Steve with the AL East. I think was on his way to having a really solid season before the injury. So that kind of jammed him up a little bit. Let's keep the autos right here. We'll do, a, we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. So if you're re-watching the replay of this video, you can skip ahead to the end. If you're uh, watching live, you're stuck with me here. Hopefully you'll keep me company throughout the break. There's a Bobby Dalbeck refractor for the AL East. Red Sox have a pretty decent young core of players. There's Alex Kirloff. Rookie autograph. That's another solid one here. AL Central. It's going to go to Greg with the spot that he won in the filler. And there is World Series hero, Walker Bueller, purple chrome. 24 out of 299. Let's, let's see what the Dodgers do with him. He's a free agent. But coming off a major arm injury, did not look good at all in the regular season. So let's see if a few, like two or three great postseason appearances, if that'll be enough for someone to give him an, an extended deal. Here is Ashton Godot, gold, for the uh, Rockies, NL West. Greg, in the spot that he bought outright. Four out of 50. So yeah, let's see what the Dodgers do with Walker Bueller. Jesus Sanchez. There's Otani, who got a surgery on that front arm, front shoulder, which is a good sign. So he might miss a little bit of, I don't know, he's, Pitching might be delayed a little bit, but but I think he should be pitching starting consistently at some point next year. Although his progress might be interrupted just a little bit. These cards are stuck together. And there's our next autograph. That's going to be Jake Woodford. That's for the NL Central. Zach with the uh, Cardinals in the NL Central. It's 170 out of 199. One, two, three, four autos. We should be expecting one more. Ryan Weathers, rookie refractor. And behind.
29, Chris Paddock. There is Victor Gonzalez. Rookie auto for the Dodgers. NL West, Greg with the Dodgers. I don't think he's on the Dodgers anymore, but here's Victor Gonzalez. And the John Means refactor. All right, box one in the books. And again, we'll do an autograph recap at the end of the video. Your NL uh, Silver Sluggers, they just announced that, maybe earlier today. At catcher for the NL, William Contreras, Brewers. Silver Slugger. That's his second Silver Slugger. For first in the NL, uh, Bryce Harper, Phillies. His fourth Silver Slugger. At second base for the Diamondbacks, Kettle Marte won his first uh, Silver Slugger. Manny Machado, just his second Silver Slugger at, for third base. That's it, he only has two, two Silver Sluggers? Yeah, this is only his second. I thought he'd have more. Uh, shortstop, Francisco Lindor, great season for him. Wins his fourth Silver Slugger. This one with the Mets. Look at this, Jackson Merrill getting a, a silver slugger. Two Padres in the outfield, Jackson Merrill and Jerks and Profar, both winning their first silver slugger. Nice. Teoscar Hernandez, silver slugger, is third. As DH, I think it's pretty obvious, Shohei Otani with his third silver slugger. And at the, U Mookie Betts getting the utility spot silver slugger, that's his seventh. And the team Silver Slugger goes to the Dodgers. So there you go. So those are your Silver Slugger Award update. Any other news here? Reds hire Brad Mills. I don't know who Brad Mills is as bench coach. Nick Pavetta unlikely to accept qualifying offer. I think most players are probably not likely to accept their qualifying offers. Nicky Lopez, Sammy Peralta, elect free agency. Angels signing Travis Darno to a two-year deal. D-backs eyeing uh, back-end relievers. Spread picks. Hmm? Last, last week, where the... Oh, up there somewhere? In there? Are they in there? I, I didn't really keep track. I think I did well. I did well betting, but I don't know if they were the same as my yeah. my picks though. Here's Albert Pujols to 399. Here's a Kiebert Ruiz rookie refractor for the Nats now, but that'll go to uh, the Pujols is AL West Nicholas, and then this is NL West. That's for Greg. Kiba Ruiz, part of that uh, that youth movement out there in uh, in Washington. They've got a nice core there. I don't think Soto would do it, but it would be kind of cool if Soto ended up going back to the Nationals. Here is um, here is uh, Enoli Paredes, Astros AL West, Nicholas Last Bot Mojo. 70% of the time, last bout mojo hits all the time. Here's a Ryan Mountcastle rookie refractor. Nice, Steve with the AL East. Pretty solid player here. I think he was the Orioles first round pick whenever, whatever year that was. Here's another Victor Gonzalez for the NL West for Greg. Christian Javier, 
Pretty solid pitcher here. AL West Nicholas. 179 out of 199. And Jonah Heim. Rookie autograph for the A's. AL West Nicholas. There we go, last spot mojo. And uh, Tristan McKenzie. Rookie refractor for the Guardians. That's going to be AL Central for Greg. Green Austin Hayes for the AL East for Steve. 32 out of 99. And we got a rookie auto, Bo Burrows. Detroit. Wow. Do you think you can beat that? No. Oh, you flip flopped. You went four and nine. Yeah. Well. Dinner's on Joe. What should, we, what should we eat? Are you are you getting hungry? Is that why you... Uh, <laughs> what is that? We're like, wait a second. All right, we'll figure it out. We can do Thursday, too. Have food or something. Do not have food. All right, dinner's on Joe. Hmm. What are you thinking? Uh, I'll let you pick. You let me pick, all right. There's another Clark Schmidt, and our fifth autograph of the box is Kyle Cody, purple rookie auto for the Rangers, AL West Nicholas. Oh, you don't need me for this. Hang on. Like a good name, but stay calm, is there? 235 out of 250. It's Kyle Seeger, and there's a hyper parallel Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. AL East. Another box. Um, I don't know. Any other any other news here? I guess Blue Jays and Red Sox to meet with Juan Soto. So Blue Jays and Red Sox gonna do their due diligence. Red Sox have a nice young core, as do the Blue Jays. Although that younger core is getting a little bit older now, but still young. Red Sox have been known to spend money. I mean, if they could, if they could pip Juan Soto away from any of those New York teams, that would be that would be a coup. Blue Jays, that'd be a bigger coup. If they were able to to snag Juan Soto away. Remember, they were they were in on the Otani sweepstakes, so I think, uh, I think Blue Jays do have money to spend on the on the right superstar. We already talked about this. Cardinals expect to, to gauge trade interest in Nolan Arenado. That offense has slipped a little bit for Nolan Arenado. He's got a few years on the three, four more years on that deal. He's getting a little bit older. The glove is still there, though. I'm not sure what's going on with these cards here? What's going on here? Blue Jays, Orioles, Red Sox interested in Max Freed. I feel like a lot of teams will be interested in Max Freed. We talk about Zach Neto getting shoulder surgery. Might miss the start of the 2025 season for the Angels. I think we've talked about some of this other stuff already. Um, mildly interesting news here. Uh, a damage assessment report on Tropicana Field was presented to St. Petersburg. Council members today. Per that report, the stadium can be fixed in time for 2026. Not, not next year, but 2026, at an estimated cost of $55 million. Do they want to, do they want to fix that at all? I don't know what they're getting insurance-wise, but they're going to tear down that stadium in a... 
Yeah, so that's going to be kind of weird because do they want to spend 60 million, basically up to $60 million on a roof that they're just going to blow up in two years when that new stadium is being built? So... There's Juan Soto. I think it'd be good for the hobby, though, if Juan Soto goes back to the Nationals, right? Because all of your rookie cards will be in his in his Nationals uniform. I think that would be kind of cool. I don't know if it would happen, but here's Tanaka to 199. That is for the AL East, Steve. Uh, orange wave autograph for the twins. It's gonna be Ryan Jeffers. AL Central, Greg with the AL Central. And that's seven out of 25. And we got Seth Eldridge, or Elledge. Going to the NL Central, that'll be for Zach. Maybe for the Rays, you may just have to say, or if you're the city, I would be like, no, no way, we're spending $60 million on something and then just to tear it down a couple years later, I feel like, I feel like the Rays are gonna have to just figure out a different place to play for for a few seasons. Here is John Lesser, 136 out of 150. NL Central, Zach with the Cubs. So Walker Bueller. His now teammate Shohei Otani, it's as if Topps knew. Putting them right next to each other. We've got Jesus Sanchez, rookie auto for the fish. That's going to be for the NL East. Greg, with the NL East. 192 out of 4.99. This guy to bounce back. That, that's going to be good for the hobby. Not bounce back, just stay healthy. He's, when healthy, he's still raking, but... Can't stay healthy. Here is Anderson Tejada, rookie autograph for the Rangers, AL West, Nicholas. Rat. Round and round, goes around, comes around. And should be one more auto. And there it is. It's Jonathan Stiver, rookie auto for the White Sox. That's going to be AL Central. Greg with the spot that he won in the filler. Hydration here, fourth box. Coming up. I don't know where the Rays are gonna play. I mean, there's a bunch of minor league stadiums around the area, including their own facility that's somewhere in Florida, so we'll we'll see. They're gonna have to figure that out soon. 
I mean, if they're if, if they're gonna invite invade a minor league baseball team, they they gotta work out scheduling stuff. They gotta work around each other's schedules, and then you know make a minor league stadium kind of major league ready. And I think a lot of that is. Um, A lot of that's like locker room stuff, you know. Even if it's the Rays, they're still major league ball players. They got to have their show lockers. They got to have their show gym. You know, you got to have TV stuff. They they got to make sure the ballpark is equipped to have multiple television camera wells. Get it broadcast ready. Make sure they have enough lighting. So I guess there'll, there'll be some updates on that. Probably They should probably have that, try to get that resolved before the end of the season. Or end of the calendar year, that is. Here's uh, Austin Riley. Nice orange wave for the AL East. See, 14 out of 25. NL East, sorry, Greg. And a plate. Nice. That's a, a Steven Strasburg plate. That's a one of one. And that's a train whistle on a True Tuesday. NL East, Greg, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. It's a good spot for him to autograph it too, Greg, if you ever run into Steven Strasburg. All aboard! Got people loving the Big Hit Express out there in the shop. Love it. And we got Nick Neidert. NL East Greg with the Marlins. And here is Brian Garcia. Blue Wave autograph, Detroit AL Central, Greg. 138 out of 150. Luis Camposano, Padres. Here is uh, Eduardo Escobar, 266 out of 399. NL West, Greg. And then we got Yerman Mercedes, rookie auto for the AL Central, White Sox. Greg. Here is Jose Garcia for the Reds. It's going to be AL Central, Greg. Just Aqua Parallel, 90 out of 199. Paul Goldschmidt's a free agent. Where does he end up? All right, and we've got Eddie Alvarez. Fifth autograph here. That's going to be for the NL East, Greg. All 
All right, we're halfway through the break. Yeah, I predicted about an hour, right? So we're about 30 minutes in, so we got another 25, 30 minutes to go. Good luck, everybody. Five autographs a box. There's still uh, 20 autos to go, so fingers crossed, play to the whistle. You know, all it takes, all it takes is one big auto, you know, to turn your break around. Turn the break around. All it takes is one card. Load up on some top loaders here. Um, what other baseball news is happening here? That's, that's light on the baseball news. I mean, people are people are meeting with uh, Scott Boris here in California. I think Juan Soto wants to go through that whole free agent process, as is his right. He wants to be uh, he wants to be courted, recruited. I get it. You know, I guess teams will get an idea of what what does Juan Soto want. Does he want to win? Does he want the money? What's more important to him? Both? Both, probably. But if, if the money's equal, where, where does he want to end up going? I guess that's what it'll end up coming down to. I guess they announced finalists, right, for like MVP and all that sort of stuff. So yesterday, Shohei Otani is a finalist for his first NL MVP award after twice winning the AL honor. And is joined amongst the top three in NL voting by Mets shortstop Francisco Lindor and Kettle Marte. Aaron Judge is a finalist for his second AL MVP in three seasons, joined by Royals shortstop Bobby Wood Jr. and uh, Yankees' is Juan Soto. Yeah, I think it says here, that's what, that's what I thought. Otani would join Frank Robinson as the only player to win an MVP in both leagues. All right. We're in the second half of the break. Good luck, everybody. It's Kyle Seeger, 251 out of 399 for the AL West, Nicholas. And we got Matt Foster, White Sox, AL Central, Greg, 122 out of 250. You probably see Chris Sale as like comeback player of the year. And you get some Cy Young votes too. There's Dylan Carlson and there's Jonathan Stiver, the AL Central. Joel Embiid's back, right? Yeah. I think that's his and Joel Embiid season debut. Luis Castillo, 007 out of 199. Greg with the AL Central. And we got another one for the AL Central. Cody Hewer, another White Sox. 
for Greg. That's one of the spots you won uh, in the filler. Two eighty one out of four ninety nine. Another Walker Bueller. We need Casey Mize to bounce back as well. Here is Nick Nelson for the Yankees AL East. See with the AL East. Shohei Otani, four out of ninety-nine. We'll be excited to see him, see him pitch. Angels edition. That's going to be for the AL West for Nicholas. And we got a Mikel Yajure for the Yankees rookie auto for the AL East. C. Alright. Another box. Let's see. Continuing that awards article, Pirates. Paul Skeens is a finalist uh, for NL Cy Young and Rookie of the Year. The 22-year-old right-hander becomes the fifth rookie to finish among the top three in Cy Young Award voting after Mark Fidrich, Fernando Valenzuela, Dwight Gooden, and Jose Fernandez. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. So the um, the only one to win both was Fernando. Back in 1981, he won Rookie of the Year and the NL Cy Young. Otani winning the MVP would be the first time a DH had won. Let's see what else. So Chris Sale and Zach Wheeler are your Cy Young finalists. Joining Paul Skeens. In the AL, Tariq Skubal, Seth Lugo, and Emmanuel Classe are your finalists there. Your NL Rookie of the Year finalists are Jackson Merrill, Jackson Churio, and Paul Skeens. No, I don't. Yeah, actually, yes, Alan. Uh, your AL Rookie of the Year finalists are um, Luis Hill for the Yankees, Austin Wells, also Yankees, and Colton Kowser. Uh Stephen Vogt for the Guardians, Matt uh, Quattraro for the Royals, and A.J. Hinch for Detroit are your finalists for AL Manager of the Year. And your three NL finalists were all first-year managers with their teams. The Mets is Carlos Mendoza, Milwaukee's Pat Murphy, and San Diego's Mike Schilt. Any predictions on, uh, on award winners? I feel like the MVP awards are kind of set. Here's Noah Syndergaard to 350 with uh, Otani in the NL. And... Um, Judge in the AL. I feel like that's set. I feel like NL Rookie of the Year is set with uh, Paul Skeens. Luis Heel, I think, towards the end of the season was the like betting favorite for AL Rookie of the Year, but who knows? Maybe, maybe the two Yankees on that finalist list 
could cancel each other out. Here's an Alex Kirilov autograph. It's going to be for the AL Central, so maybe Colton Kowser could sneak in. That's going to be Greg with the, uh, with the AL Central. And there's a refractor, Bobby Dalbeck. Cy Young, I don't know if Skeens is going to win Cy Young, but Chris Sale and Zach Wheeler are the final. It's got to be Chris Sale, right? And I think Tariq Skubal was the betting favorite for the AL Cy Young Award. I feel like he'd probably win that too. I wonder if there'll be any surprises here. What about Manager of the Year? Who do you have for Manager of the Year? We got uh, Guardians Manager, Kansas City Manager, Detroit Manager in the AL. And here is a Nick Nelson autograph for the AL East, Steve. Stephen Vogt for the Guardians, Matt Catraro for the Royals, and A.J. Hinch for Detroit. There's a refractor, Mount Castle for the AL East. That'll be for Steve. Remember, these awards were voted on before uh, the playoffs, so playoff performance would not, would not uh, be a factor in the voting. It's just, this is just regular season. Here's Jake Cronenworth, the Crone Zone, Blue Wave Rookie. 10 out of 75, AL West, NL West. Greg with the Padres and the NL West. And for the AL West, James Caprillian. Nicholas, last spot mojo. And a Randy Arozarena Future Stars autograph. 93 out of 99. Tampa Bay Rays, that's going to be for Steve. AL East. Nice, that's pretty sharp. Rebel, what's going on? You'd like uh, Q to win. The Royals manager? Yeah, that's that's kind of where I was leaning to. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be him or AJ Hinch for Detroit. Hey, speaking of the Royals, there's Carlos Hernandez, rookie auto. AL Central, Greg, 59 out of 150. The three manager of the year candidates are all from the AL Central, right? Cleveland, Kansas City, and Detroit. They're all, they're all Central, right? All right, two more boxes to go. Yeah, I'm thinking Royals or, or, or Detroit. What about the NL Manager of the Year? Carlos Mendoza for the Mets, Pat Murphy for Milwaukee, and San Diego's Mike Schilt. Loosen up those cards a little bit. Anyone have any thoughts on the NL Manager of the Year? Mets is Carlos Mendoza. 
Pat Murphy in Milwaukee and Mike Schilt in San Diego. And all those NL managers, I think, it's their first year with their team. Three of those teams had really nice seasons. I and mean, I don't know if, I don't know how, you know, if manager of the year could be super subjective. I mean, do you go by record? Do you go by, you know, I'm sure all those factors are included, but do you go by like what they were expected to win and then what they, you know, what, what, how many wins they ended up with. And here's Ahmed Rosario. Speaking of the Mets, 176 out of 299. Nice opening 21. Chrome was good for me, says Rebel in a break. Wow, $20 for a random team break you ended up with a Trout Prismic Power Orange Auto to 25. You still have it? I mean, Trout's gotta put together a few healthy seasons to, to kind of rebuild his stock a little bit. Uh, here's Ryan Castellani for the Rockies. That's gonna be NL West for Greg. Here's that prismic power design right there. And behind Ryan Mountcastle is a rookie auto, Paven Smith, NL West for Greg. 79 out of 150. Nice, you still got it. SGC grade 9 5, excellent. It's so dark outside early. The time change and the and all that. Here's uh, Isaac Paredes, 87 out of 399. Tigers AL Central, Greg. And there's Ronnie Garcia. Another Tiger for Greg, AL Central. And there's a Trout Refractor. Let's hope he uh, stays healthy next year. And here's uh, Jordan Holloway. Aqua rookie auto for the Marlins. They're in the NL East. That's for Greg. 95 out of 199. And we got a Dylan Carlson rookie autograph. For the red, Zach Sullivan with the NL Central. Won that in the filler and gets the Dylan Carlson rookie auto. Uh, one of the uh, Cardinals highly touted prospects. How do you do this year? No, rough season for him this year. Are there injuries involved? He needs to... Oh yeah, he was moved to the Rays.
Yeah, he was looking like he was having a great spring training. Then, he ran into, that's right, I remember this. He ran into Jordan Walker chasing a fly ball. Carlson suffered an injury to his left shoulder after falling hard on the warning track after the collision, also hurting his hip and ankle. An MRI that night uh, revealed damage to his left shoulder, putting him in the IL for a few weeks. And I think that just, he just never got, never got the season going. They traded him in the middle of the season to Tampa Bay in exchange for Sean Armstrong. I don't know, so maybe he, he rebuilds his stock with the Rays. All right, so maybe a wait and see on that one. All right, final box, final five autos. We're at the very end. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully we'll find some some hits for the hit list. I think everyone's every division has gotten at least an auto. Let's see if we can find more for everybody. Good luck. Just loosen up these cards a little bit. I saw that Dylan Carlson Wikipedia page open. I, I realized that he also had a season-ending surgery, well, in, in September, in 2023, on his left ankle. So he's been banged up a little bit. But he was a finalist for the uh, NL Rookie of the Year award, so. Maybe the race can, can still unlock that, keep him healthy. All right, good luck, everyone. Final box, final five autos, fingers crossed. Here is Dodgers edition of Cody Bellinger, 160 out of 350. And a West, Greg. I mean, if you said back in 2021 when we were ripping this, that Bellinger and Chris Bryant wouldn't be on their respective teams, I think people would, people would be like, that's it's crazy talk. Yeah, I actually didn't know, didn't remember Dylan Carlson getting traded either. I mean, he's, still, he's got a lot of upside, so. And there's a Chris Bubich rookie autograph. I think he had a nice 2024. AL Central, Greg. Well, Dylan Carlson is 26. You know, it's kind of, might be approaching kind of now or never territory. There's Ryan Castellani for the Rockies, NL West, Greg. Speaking of the Cardinals, aren't they kind of in a, they're sort of in a transitional period, right? Sort of? I don't know what their, I don't know what their uh, sort of off-season plan is gonna be, or what they're, they're moving Contreras to first. Um, they're entertaining trade offers for Nolan Arenado. Paul Goldschmidt uh, is a free agent. He walks. I don't think they're going to re-sign him. 
Here's Alec Bohm, nice. 198 out of 299. Phillies, NL East, great. Yeah, so are they kind of in a in a rebuild situation? Yeah, speaking of the Cardinals, there's Seth Elledge for the NL Central. That'll be for Zach. And here is uh, Ronnie Garcia. Rookie auto for the AL Central. Our fourth autograph, so we should be expecting one more. This is for Greg in the AL Central. So we should be expecting one more down there somewhere. Fingers crossed, everybody. Good luck. Thanks for getting this done. Appreciate that as always. Yoti Tavares, and we've got a Sterling Sharp rookie autograph for the Nats. That's going to go to the NL East. That is for Greg. 104 out of 150. And we're going to close things out with Brady Singer, rookie refractor. All right, thanks, everybody. Nice break. 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball 8-Box Jumbo in the books. Here's a quick recap. Thanks, everybody, for watching, for breaking with me. Randy Arozarena was nice. Alex Kirilovs. Some color autos. Some guys that still, still have some upside, too, I want to say. Printing plate for the Nats. Jesus Sanchez. Bo Burrows. Got some gold right here as well. Clark Schmidt. Nice. So there you have it. That was a random division break number three, 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball. Plenty of baseball in the store. So go check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye.